anyone who was incredibly successful has failed more than other people. You just don't see it because they got back up so fast and they learn from it, right? That's really how it is. Um, the fastest way to avoid failure is not to learn by your own experience, but to learn by other people's experiences, right? The way I believe in compressing decades into days, and the way you do that is modeling, once again. Finding someone who is the most successful in the world, it's taken them 20, 30 years, and digging in and figuring out what is the core essence of what's made them successful. What are the failures they had? What they learned from them so you can avoid them? So, but the other part is you also have to know that success is buried on the other side of failure. It's buried on the other side of frustration. It's buried on the other side of conflict. And so you have to see this as part of the natural evolution. Peter Gruber's a dear friend of mine. He owns the NBA Warriors. He took him from last place to, you know, he told me a story about his life early on. He told me that when he was just a kid, there was a, a neighbor kid who uh, had major physical deformities and, and potentially mental ones. And he saw one day his dad take him out and put him on this long bike with these two like mini training wheels. And he put the kid on this thing who could barely walk and he shoved him and the kid went for a little bit and just crashed. Wow. And when he crashed and started to cry, the fathers got up and walked away. Oh, man. And, and Peter said he was so mad at this man. And he said, this would go on like every morning. And, and Peter would be looking at his window and he went and told his mom. And he said, you gotta do something. He's abusing this poor boy. An interesting thing happened, he said. His mom said, stay out of their business. And one day, Peter's looking out the window before he's gonna go to school. And he sees the kid out there and the dad shoves him, and the kid goes and goes and goes. He's about to fall over, he goes and goes and goes and goes, and he finally crashes, but he went on forever. And all of a sudden, he turns around and he looks at his dad, and his dad's like going like crazy like this. And Peter said in that moment, he made a decision. He said, you know, all failure is, is it's, it's a speed bump on the way to success. And that man's great gift was, he didn't baby a son, he got his son to do this. And he said, Tony, years later, I'm the chairman of, of Columbia Pictures, and I think he was 34 years old. And he was picked over a man that was 55 and a war hero and was very respected. And so there's this conflict. And the first movie Peter made, they screened it and it was terrible. Right. And these horrible reviews. And the guy walked up and said, are you scared? And Peter looked at him and said, I really am, but it won't stop me. He said, let me tell you a story. And he told him a story about this little boy. And he said, you know what I learned? He said, I learned that as long as you keep getting back up, failure's just a speed bump to success and nothing's gonna stop me in this job or anything else I do. And he said, the story brought a tear to this man's eyes. He related to it in so many ways in his own life. And he said, he went from his adversary to his ally from that day forward. So I really think we're all afraid to fail, but it's the only way to learn sometimes. I mean, when people succeed, they tend to party. When you fail, you tend to ponder. And then the pondering is when you usually get the growth, the insight, the strategy that'll change your business, that'll change your personal life, that'll change your finances. And so I think, I, I don't vote for failure for anybody, but to think you're not gonna experience it is absurd. Right. The way to not experience it is to turn it into learning. The person that can go through failure like butter and it doesn't stop them, they just change their approach, change their, I mean, how long will you give your average child to learn how to walk. You know, before you shut them off and said, you're not a walker. <laughs> you know, people go, what are you crazy? My kids are gonna keep trying until he or she, you know, is a walker. Well, that's why almost everybody walks. Right. But singing, how many people sing? Small amount, because someone says, you're, what are you, that, what's that noise you're making? Stop that, that, you're not a singer. Well, once you decide that, you stop trying. Failure is only when you permanently give up. If you learned anything and you apply what you've learned, failure is a stepping stone.